Well, so you decided to create a YouTube channel in 2022. Now you're faced with the questions of how to shoot a video, how to create the content itself. In this video, you will learn all the steps of the process from preparation to uploading a video to YouTube and analyzing the video itself on YouTube. What is important, what is worth to pay attention to, you will find out in this video. And thus, let's go. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Movavi vlog, and the first question which you have to answer yourself even before you pick up the camera is what is the point of my video? What new things do I want to share? What new answers do I give? Because if you don't have an answer to this question right away, you will shoot a lot of extra shots, you will fuss, then you will go through a lot of footage, you will exhaust yourself and eventually slowly will start to burn out. And when you finish your video, or rather if you you finish your video, you will begin to understand what the essence of your video is and as you already understand, the probability of success of such a video tends to zero. You don't need it, so answer the question right away. Write with a pen and paper or type on the keyboard what is the bottom line of my video. And using one to two sentences, answer this question and now you're ready to move on. It is clear that first of all, you create this channel for yourself. One of the main motivations to create a YouTube channel is your personal interest. You share what you like to do, what you already know how to do, and that's right, but do not forget that you also share this content with the audience. And if you start only from your personal interest, the probability that you will get the mass interest even within your niche is extremely small. Therefore, since before shooting your video, you should do a little analysis. You need to understand if the audience is interested in the topic that you're going to cover. And how do you understand this interest of the audience? It is relevant to the video that we're going to create. And we'll look at search volume and what competition this keyword has. And also, what volume other keywords similar to this keyword have. And so you can very quickly understand whether it's worth to make the video that you wanna make. And if it's worth it, you will see a lot of similar videos. You have to watch almost every video to understand what they're talking about because this is a community and you have to express your opinion within the community and you have to bring up something new. So take a listen to what they say and think what fresh can I contribute to this particular topic. The next point that appears from the previous one is extremely important and I don't understand why there are so many tips online that you need to do it in the end of the process. You know, when you've already shot the video, you finished your edit, we're ready to upload it and guys, now we need to make a thumbnail and a title. The thumbnail and the title are what you need to do even before creating a video. And it doesn't mean that you have to run and make a picture of this thumbnail even before filming, although in fact it can be done in most cases, but it's not about it yet. You should at least visualize how this thumbnail will look like, what connection between the thumbnail and the title will be, well, at least draw it on a piece of paper. You need to understand why the viewer should click on your video because if the viewer does not click on your video, he will not understand how cool and awesome it is and he will not subscribe. Therefore, guys, accept this as a rule. You come up with a thumbnail and a title even before creating a video. Thank me later. Creating quality YouTube videos isn't always about expensive software and effects. Mobile Video Editor Plus 2022, the Let's Start a Vlog Effects set, Handy set, and the colorful gradient pack were designed to help you create engaging videos that get even more views and are as good as popular creators' content. Movavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save your time. Its interface is easy to master, all the tools and presets are there to help you get many operations done in a few clicks. The app doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, and its subscription format can give you access to all the features and updates that will be released in the following 12 months at a lower price. The Let's Start a Vlog Effects set and Handy set include everything you might need to bring a consistent style to your YouTube videos. The colorful Gradient Pack is a new bold effects collection that will be perfect for YouTube videos of any topic. Once installed, the effects will be built into the program so you can apply them to your clips in no time. Follow the link below to check out a 40% discount on this bundle. Our offer is time limited so don't miss your chance to pick some presents for your family, your friends, 
and yourself of course. Now let's move on to the pre-production process. It can be a script, a structure, a storyboard or all together. In film productions it is generally all together as a rule. Moreover both the storyboard and the script are very detailed there. The focal length, some details of the shot, the angle from above and below and so on. Of course we're not going into this with you. We're making a simple structure or a simple script. What does it mean? You have the main line of your video, your so-called A-roll, that is talking head for example. You write the structure wherever, on your smartphone in notes or on a computer or write with a pen and paper, it doesn't matter at all. And you write the structure, so I'm talking about this, about that and the other, and then you start speaking from yourself or if the text is hard you can write the whole text and with the help of a prompter shoot your video. In this main line you begin to insert points about b-roll. It's like I need to put it when I say something about this and that, I need to shoot this, this and this. Literally in such a simple version it will be enough to tell a short story of your video. Someone creates a detailed storyboard but as for me I think that in most videos on YouTube there is no need for this and you can do it with the basic structure or a little more detailed script. And hooray we have reached your most favorite part gear. There is a big misconception about the gear for YouTube videos and when you're just starting out the lure is very high to get this delicious juicy picture with a blurry background, isn't it? But now I will tell you the industry standard, not only YouTube, priorities which is important from a technical point of view on a video. This is audio, light, and camera. And to make it more clear, let me demonstrate. What you're looking at right now is a video from a camera which costs several thousand dollars. It is a film camera and I am now using the light of this room, simple room lighting, and also a microphone built in this camera. And I think you're not enjoying the video right now. This is the video shot on my smartphone but with good lighting and a microphone close to my face. The most expensive thing in this setup is not the light, not the microphone, but the camera. Therefore, first of all, we improve the sound, we improve the light, and just use your smartphone for a while. I want to pay a special attention to B-roll. You know A-roll perfectly well, but B-roll is not just something that goes on top of your A-roll. This is not the way to approach this process. The B-roll may even be much more important than the A-roll. Guys, the average attention span of a modern person is extremely small. Believe me, thanks to TikTok. That's why you need to catch the attention of your viewer with all your strength and hold it as long as possible. And B-roll can help a lot with this. Most of the traffic on this channel goes from recommendations and as a rule there are always more of these people than subscribers. And this is normal on a growing channel. That means you constantly deal with new viewers and have to turn them into subscribers. You repeatedly have to catch the attention of new people and b-roll will be very helpful. To simplify I advise you to shoot it as follows. You have some action going on, you shoot the wide shot of this action, you shoot the medium and then you shoot from three to five close-ups to show and to dive the viewer in from different angles. And I also recommend you to shoot your b-roll always at 50 or 60 frames per second so that they can be slowed down later. Slow motion shots almost always look better and besides it eliminates the camera a shake. Music is just as important as the sound is. Thus, before you start editing, find tracks that sound good and that will fit the vibe of your video. How and where to search the music, we have a special video on the channel, I strongly advise you to watch it. Before we start editing, we should keep all the files organized. B-roll should have a place in the B-roll folder and in the B-roll folder there are several more folders that define a separate type of the B-roll. Believe me, this is not a waste of time, on the contrary, it saves time and will greatly help you in the process. When I start editing, I check my plan, my structure, which I created before shooting and start assembling the shots in accordance with this structure. If you do it this way, you will not procrastinate, you will not waste time and you will do everything very quickly and productively. We're gonna make a specific video about video editing, but if you're from the future, check it out 
on the channel. And finally, we're ready to upload our video. We upload it as unlisted and we do SEO optimization of the video. Write a title, write a description and tags. With the help of the VidIQ plugin, this can be done very quickly and efficiently. We had another video on the channel specifically about SEO optimization. Be sure to take a look. Then I post the video at the scheduled time and I just leave it. I don't check out how many views it got there in the first minutes. I leave it for a few days then I go back to this video and analyze the performance. I look at CTR from different sections, audience retention, and conclude what can I improve next time to make my content better. One of the big beginner's problems is spending a lot of time in analytics. Yes, even if you have already grown a channel, you still won't see any large-scale changes, and this will only cause stress and there is no efficiency in the process. Take a look periodically, every few days, make a conclusion and just move on. Focus 80% percent of the time on content creation and 20 percent of the time on analytics. But what worries me the most is that most likely an extremely small percentage of you will apply all these tips that I have listed. And the reason for that is fear and hesitation. It's scary what people will think of me when I post a video. I am not good enough yet. I don't have the gear. I don't know enough yet. Guys, this is a process where you're constantly learning and will continue to learn. There is no limit where you know enough to start. There is no such line and no matter how cliche and loud it sounds, all these tips will not make any sense if you don't start right now. Smash the like button if this video was helpful to you and see you in the next video.